All right, guys, here's what I'm getting ready to restring. This is a Sterling Cutlass by Music Man. And um, it's got really heavy strings on it right now. So I got to get these things off of here. The low E string is a 54. So too heavy in my opinion. And so let's get started on this thing. Put some new strings on it. Yeah, so this should be an easy restring video. It has, um, are these hip shot? Uh, it has ratio tuners on there, locking tuners. So this should be quick and easy. All you have to do on locking tuners, loosen the strings a little tiny bit. This is a, like a, um, the tremolo on here is kind of a Fender style, Music Man style, but you don't, it's not floating, so you don't have to worry about that. So you loosen the strings a little bit, and then you just turn these, and that will let the string fall right out of the tuner. So I'm just going to loosen all six of them. Just that easy. Made in Indonesia. You can see the little dots where the other tuners used to be. So this guitar is pre-owned. It's a used guitar. Somebody had this thing. And then it got traded in or it got sold to me. I don't remember how exactly I ended up with it. But here it is. And a few guys have played it. And they're all saying, oh man, them strings are way too heavy. So I'm going to get these other strings off of here. And again, 90% of the guitars that come through here that are used, um, they need new strings anyhow. So I have no problem stringing these babies up. Getting the old ones out of the way. You've got the trem bar that just lifts right out of there. And it's very short. It's kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. Okay, I might be able to get these strings out. No, I'm going to take the back plate off. Oh, they want to come out. Look at that. These guys are like, let me out. Let me out of here. going to come out without taking the back off. There he is. Hey, how about that? What a great guitar. Being very nice. Sterling by Music Man. It's got a little five bolt neck plate on there and a really nice dark wood. Um, don't know if it's roasted maple or what it is. Uh, but I uh, She's in really good shape. We'll get in and look at these frets really close. Go up here on the first couple of frets and um, to me they feel pretty darn good. I don't feel any little dents or divots in them. It's got a nice dark rosewood board. Don't, don't know if it's rosewood. Rosewood, it could be Palfaro or Rich Light or whatever these guitars came with but and then you got the truss rod here in the heel which is really easy to get at little thousand grit sandpaper and my fret guard just gonna take top layer of dirt corrosion shines them up really nice Okay. All right, let's put a little bit of, what do we got here? What do we got? We got DiMarzio. 
We got Diderio lemon oil cleaner and conditioner. Just throw some of this on there. Okay, that was probably too much. Then I'm going to take a little napkin here, a cocktail napkin. And we're just going to spread this over here. Trying to hydrate this and clean it up a little bit. The fret ends on this guitar feel really nice. This is a quality guitar right here. I don't see any dirt or anything. It's very well kept. Didn't seem like it got played very much. Got some dirt off of it. Okay, she's ready for strings. Today's string choice. Okay, Ernie Ball, super slinky. 9 through 42 is. Sounds exactly like what this guitar needs. My goal down here today is to string this guitar up. So I can hang it on the wall out in the front showroom and uh, get some eyeballs on it. It's been back here in the back in a case for a long time. Uh, I have more inventory than I have room out front to display. So a lot of guitars, sometimes they come in and they're in cases and they just sort of hide in the back rooms at the store for a while before I get a chance to uh, put them out front. And this is one of those. This thing's just been kind of hanging out. Okay, so you just, with the locking tuners, just kind of pull the string tight, sort of tight, and then tighten up the little wheel on the bottom of the tuner. And lift that up like that. Might as well go ahead and snip the end of it off. Okay, our A string is a 32 gauge. And our D string is 24 wound. The W stands for wound string. The Ernie Ball. Power Peg Pro is what I use. Our G string is a 16 gauge. By the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. A lot of views lately. The channel is growing uh, rather quickly. So I really appreciate all that, you guys. Thank you so much. Our B string is in 11. Locking tuners are sort of somewhat controversial uh, when it comes to exactly how they benefit a guitar. A lot of guys will put locking tuners on their guitar, thinking that it's going to help with um, with tuning. Is the guitar going to stay in tune better? And so you hear that argument a lot where oh, it doesn't really do anything as far as tuning stability. And then other guys will disagree with you and it, they say it helps tremendously to have locking tuners on your guitar when it comes to strings being in tune and staying in tune and the overall stability of a guitar being in tune. 
the second thing that they do is to make it helps to make string change outs quick and easy so if you see right here this is our high E string and so this whole thing you just saw in real time how hard it how long it took me to throw those six strings on there now they're not tuned up or anything yet but the strings are on there and so as far as um, ease in, in getting your strings changed out I think that definitely does work for that because that was pretty darn quick Take a look now, let's just see what it's doing. A little buzzy on the F right there. But most guitars Electric guitars are going to buzz a little bit down down in this neighborhood. Let's take a look at the neck. And so I believe this is a long scale guitar. This is my notched straight edge and it says long scale right on the face of it there. So we're going to set that on there. Then as I look at it to see if we got any relief under the neck. And it's got a little relief. So we, we can snug that just a bit. So you can just use a regular size little Allen wrench. I'm gonna stick it in right here. And I'm gonna push it. Ooh, there we go. It was a little hard to push, but it went. Now, let me take a look and see. Well, she's still got a little relief in it. I'm going to try one more time. Now, this thing is going to be all shreddy and low action, but it'll probably fret out. Ooh, there we go. Super tight. Sometimes you do this, delicately do this a little tiny bit, just to kind of help that truss rod work. Tune it up again. Stretch out the string so I, I keep my left hand down here to protect the nut because if you tug on this string you'll break the nut right there and I know that because I've done it so my new technique is to always leave my left hand sitting there to protect that but you can kind of tug pretty hard on these lower strings stretch them out real good now see now it's saying that it's in just D, so I stretched that almost a whole scale length. Or a whole tone, right? A whole note, whatever it is. Okay, there's the E. They stretched a lot. Always stretch your strings out. And some guys just do it by playing for a little while. But if you got new strings on your guitar and you don't stretch them out, you got to have to figure that it's going to be out of tune the next time you pick it up because you didn't really stretch your strings out.
think what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this saddle right here on that low E string just a little tiny bit. There we go. No, don't loosen it. Tighten it a little. There we go. Cool. Kind of a nice fatter neck on this one. Not real fat though. Again, Sterling Cutlass Music Man. Some locking tuners on there. Beautiful blue collar. Uh, maybe a Lake Placid blue. Sorta. Of. I don't see any scratches or dings or dents or anything in it. Really, really nice example of a Cutlass Sterling by Music Man. And now she's got a new set of 9 through 42 Ernie Ball strings on it. So this thing, this thing's ready to go. So I will end with that right there. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Go buy a guitar.